Hi Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your March 7th, 2023 full moon reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy that we need to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. This is the death card. So this is Scorpio energy. There can be lies around us. Somebody, it's not necessarily lying to us, but they're not showing us the full truth or they're not showing us who they truly are. They're secrets, secrets, secrets. So just be very aware of this. There is also a sense with the with the death card, a resistance to transformation. There's a new step of our journey we need to be taking or we need to be walking down. And there's a sense that we don't really want to. It's kind of like, no, I, I want to stay as it was or as it or as it could have been and spirit is really saying here no it's time for that transformation to really move us forward in our lives so let's see the message from spirit angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels here we have gratitude really embracing an attitude of gratitude you know, that sense of, of saying thank you to the universe, saying thank you to divinity and ourselves and what we are creating and what we are cultivating in our lives. Instead of feeling overwhelmed and as if there isn't, there's a real sense here of embracing the beauty that is and embracing the power that you have. And that's going to transform things. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides, angels. And spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. And show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. So we have the two of pentacles reversed crowning us. We don't want to be on display and we're really not going to be quite good at balancing multiple things during this time. There is a sense of I need to do things, you know, mindfully, presently, powerfully to move me forward. And there's a sense of things coming into balance and there's a sense of I'm coming into balance for myself, not for everybody else. We have the ace of swords upright. We have the Four of Swords, we then have the Page of Swords reversed, and the Ten of Pentacles reversed. There is something we feel here is an inheritance. Now, I actually feel that this is a negative inheritance, almost like a generational curse or something where we think, well, it, it's, it just runs in the family, so that's how it's going to be. Be very aware of this mindset because there's a sense here that you're breaking something. You're breaking some chains that have held you back before. So let's talk about, I know we just dived right into the tarot. Let's talk about this full moon for a moment. It is the full moon in Virgo. It's the worm moon, which I love because it means the soil is, you know, awakening from winter and the worms are, are moving in it and enriching it, enriching it. We'll go with that. 
And there's this real sense with this Virgo moon. Virgo is about us connecting with ancient wisdom. Virgo is the ancient wisdom keepers of the earth. And that's going to be a power we're stepping into. Now, what's really interesting is that also on the 7th of March, we have Saturn moving into Pisces, where it will be for the next three years. And why this is important and kind of a big deal is because Saturn and Pisces kind of get along like oil and water. So just be very aware of this with the sense that Saturn likes structure and limits and, you know, time and for us to be patient and, you know, top down structures logic, traditions, Pisces does not want to be told what to do at all. It is the sign that doesn't want to be told what to do. It's a mutable sign. It is, you know, it is a water sign. It is just like, let me be, let me flow, let me discover. And Pisces and Pisces and Saturn wants us to be structured. So the Virgo energy of the wisdom keeper of the earth is really going to come in quite valuably here because it's going to say step into your body. Virgo wants our bodies to be moving like clockwork. Pisces wants our spirits to be moving like clockwork. And Saturn wants us to have the structure to put it all together, to put it all together and execute things beautifully. So this is going to be a very, very, very powerful time. We're also going to see this as a time where Virgo is bringing us a purification of what we really want in our lives. You know, what we're really asking for. There's not a sense of a purging of like a purification in our lives. Like, oh, I'm going to clean out the cupboards or, oh, I'm going to, you know, take this course or, you know, maybe walk down this path or maybe look at this. It's like, no, I'm restructuring my whole entire existence. I'm looking at things and I'm saying, what is me? Like, how am I? Where do I need to be? And that's why we're not on display for everybody else. We're really not. And we're not really into balancing things and juggling things that don't make sense for us, that don't hold time or space for us. And that's why here we're cutting through a lot of the nonsense that we thought, well, it's just always going to be this way, right? I'm always going to be stuck. I'm never going to be prosperous. I'm I'm never going to be able to move ahead. And that's where divinity is handing us the gift from God, source, spirit, you know, however you see the divine, the universe of the ace of swords, cutting through doubts and fears and negativity really being able to move forward in clarification of where I want to be, of where I need to be, of what's important to me, or finding our voice. We're asking questions we've never asked before. We are be even saying things like, wow, I'm not happy with X, Y, Z. And this can be pretty big for us. For some of us, it's what we've always wanted. We always talked about this. And now we're saying, it doesn't really make me happy, or I feel like I've lost myself. And we can be saying this to a close, you know, confidant. We can be saying this to to a therapist. We can be saying this to even ourselves, admitting it for the first time. And it's like, okay, how do I need to cut through what's holding me back or what's keeping me back and what's keeping me from where I need to be if for the enrichment of my soul, my spirit, and myself? Spirit is saying, be very mindful of rest. One of the first things you're going to do, Cancer, is, is cut out sleep and be like, don't worry, I can just keep on pushing forward. And spirit is going to tell you, no, 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 you need to sleep. You need to also pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to the messages that are coming your way, the power that is leading you forward. The four of swords is like rest and honor your story, rest and honor you. Okay. But also give your, your chi a a time to heal, give yourself time to heal. This is going to be something that we actively need to make time for during, during this moon rest and connection with the page of swords reversed this is air sign energy gemini libra aquarius if you're born on the cusp with gemini you might find that questions are overwhelming you you can also find that you might have temper tantrums that really express themselves you know verbally it could be like yelling or just frustrated and mumbling under your breath we can also feel like i'm not taking this gift right of the ace of swords I'm not taking the gift that's moving me forward. We can be very hard on ourselves, very negative to ourselves. Be be aware. Be aware. We can also be having a bit of a difficulty if we are a parent or if we work with children with communication. There can be a child in particular where you're sitting there and you're talking to them and they're saying, no, I don't want to do that. No, we're not going to do that. And they use their words and their logic and they have it kind of like spelt out for them, but it isn't. It isn't correct. And you're trying to be more diplomatic about this. And there's there's a sense here of like, no, 
I need to move forward in, in what's right for right now. And it's it's not debating with a three-year-old, right? It's not going to be debates. And I'm not saying to be tyrannical, but there is there is a real sense of I am becoming stricter. You know, I am becoming more focused. And that's going to be a very big deal as we move forward. So there's something here where it, it, it's like a tenter, temper tantrum. And what needs to be done is like, no, I need to rein it in. I need to rein it in because that's not okay. It moves us to go deeper into what the moon, well, let's see what the moon is saying. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels. And spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels. Ooh, can you see that? No. Okay, let's pull it up. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides. Now remember, Karen, I don't think I, I said this, but Virgo is... The full moon is six degrees in Virgo. And why this is important is this is the six of the seven moons that are not six degrees, 16 degrees in their sign. And this is important because the 16th card in the tarot is a tower. And there is a powerful energy here. And it has been for the last, you know, now it's now it's this is the sixth moon. So the last five moons, right? We have seen this energy that the tarot brings come forward in our lives, that the tower brings coming forward in our lives of change, of change that rocks our foundation. Our foundation has been rocked and we're regathering our footing. With the two of pentacles reversed, we have purity and then we have the new moon in Aquarius reversed, which says bring love into the situation. We need to embrace the purity of spirit for us. What do we want to create? What do we want to cultivate? We're having a hard time bringing love into the situation because we're having a hard time balancing ourselves, balancing where we want to be and where we need to be. It moves us with the Ace of Swords. We have creation reversed. And then we have the South, South Lunar Node, which says, don't let your past hold you back. And that's what's stopping us from creating what we want to move forward in. There is a sense here of as we're cutting through doubts and fears and negativity, we run up against this this roadblock in our creation, in what we want to cultivate and how we want to move things forward. And it brings us to this place where we need to remind ourselves we're not ruled by our past. We are the moment and we're stepping forward. And we can only be in this moment. We can only be in the now. If it's like only these two hours I'm thinking about, only the next two hours I'm thinking about, that's going to be very important. It moves us to the Four of Swords, assessing reversed, and then the new moon in Virgo, which says a time to give rather than take. Virgo is all about coming into the body, it becoming aware of what we need and what we want and how to get our bodies to work like clockwork, not to, to give out our energy, it's to take in. Okay, not to, no, but it is, it's not to bring it outward. It's like, I need to give, it's time to give, it's time to give to myself the balance of this energy rather than taking it to do everything else. That's why we need to rest. We're going to have a bit of a hard time being able to access, access, assess, there we go. Assess situations, look at things, be non-judgmental and, and look at the bigger picture. We're going to get kind of tied up in little tiny things, especially when we're tired, especially when we're overwhelmed. Okay, that's going to exasperate everything. It moves us to the page of swords reverse. And then we have fruition, which is reverse. And there's a sense of if I'm in this tantrum, if I'm not able to state what I want to state or say what I need to say, I will not be able to bring to fruition what is needed and what is desired. The new moon eclipse says expect powerful change. But if I'm in a place of blockage, in a place of anger, in a place of frustration, that powerful change will not come or it will come 
in a, wow, my stress levels are off the chart, or I can't believe I feel so angry. With the 10 of pentacles reverse, that generational kind of curse comes forward, that sense of, I don't get to have what I need or what I want, or it's always this frustration, or it's always this, and it has been in my family since forever. It leads us to boundaries. We're having boundary issues, even with our own history, okay? And it's a sense almost, you know how they say, your cells remember trauma, and your cells take in the trauma of your family. Yes, they do. But now it's time to look at that trauma and say, I don't get to be ruled by you. I would highly recommend, you know, typing in Spring Forest Qigong to look on how to heal that trauma. I would highly recommend meditation because it says with the new moon in Cancer, it says you and your loved ones are safe, but that's reverse. You don't feel safe. You don't feel as if you can move forward to where you need to be. It's, it's always going to be a battle. And Spirit's like, why does it always have to be a battle? This is about letting go. Do not let your past rule your present. You know, do not let your past hold you back from where you want to be. And that's what this moon is all about. Because it's almost like the die is cast. The stone has been carved. I don't get to have what I want. And Spirit's saying, stop it. Stop it. There is power within you that you do not know. Stop giving away, you know, your time and your energy to please everybody else, to kind of be that, you know, performing little circus dog that everybody can ooh and ah over, but doesn't really get anywhere. It is time to stand in your power and stand in yourself. It moves us to our subconscious energy to be mindful of, and that's the Eight of Cups. We need to be mindful that we're not willing to walk away from something yet. It's like, no, I want to stay here. I want to live in this pain or this anger or this hurt. And Spirit's like, why? It's not working. It's time to walk away. Are we ready for it? No. But it's not going to get easier the more time that passes. It moves us to our subconscious energy from spirit. And this is prosperity. We are prosperous, bountiful, abundant. And that is a brilliant, brilliant thing. There's almost a feeling here of like, I don't get to be prosperous. I don't get to have have the abundance. You know, I don't get to, I don't get to. Yeah, okay, so the eight of, of wands reverse. I don't get to move forward. Like, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. And Spirit is saying here, no, you're not. You really are a prosperous, bountiful individual. It moves us to our subconscious Luna message, which is the queen of the moon. And Gemini reversed. The new moon in Gemini. And it says communication is key. We're having trouble with that. And yet we have sovereignty. And yet this moon is empowering us. It's emboldening us. It's it's breaking down bar barriers. But we're having a bit of difficulty at times really stating, really communicating what we want even to ourselves. All right. All right, Cancer. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this full moon and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Cancer, and may you have a blessed moon. God bless.